Hello everyone and welcome back to Faith on Friday. Before we begin this week's mini liturgy, um, I'd like you to just spend a few moments talking to the person next to you about three good things that happened to you this week. Awesome, hopefully you've had a chance to hear some amazing things just there. Um, so now we've done that, let's remind ourselves of God's presence throughout all of this by making the sign of the cross together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our theme of the week this week is learning, and our piece of scripture is actually one of Jesus' biggest teachings uh, throughout his entire ministry. Um, if, you want to help, if you want to find it in your own Bible, uh, it can be found in Luke's Gospel. Um, it's chapter 6, uh, and it starts on verse 27. Uh, but if you're not so sure about how to find that in the Bible, um, it's page 184. So if you want to find it in your Bible now, um, feel free, uh, go for it. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. But I tell you who hear me, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who ill-treat you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This piece of scripture is actually one of the core principles of our faith, and is literally just as simple as it says on the tin. Love one another. Love each other as you would like to be loved. And actually, if everyone does that, the world will be a much, much better place. I'd like to um, turn to the person next to you now at this point and um, share with them uh, one of the ways that you um, have shown up to someone or felt love um, this week. Um, amazing. Um, I hope you enjoyed hearing how the person next to you has either shown some love this week or uh, felt love uh, from someone else. Um, but one of the ways that I feel like uh, I feel God's love the most um, is by learning new things. Because when we learn uh, new things either about ourselves or about the world around us, uh, we're actually learning more about why God made us and about the amazing world which God has created. So in a few moments' time, I'd like to turn to the person next to you again. Maybe try the person on the other side this time so you don't get um, sick of seeing the same person over and over again. Um, but um, I'd like to share with them something that you've learned this week. Uh, maybe something in English, something in maths. But actually, it doesn't have to be to do with school. It might be something you've learned outside of school. Um, maybe you go to a club outside of school and you've learned something new there. Maybe you've um, mastered the right route through the whirly gig on Four Guys. Um, whatever you've learned this week, um, I want to share that with the person on the other side of you now. Amazing, guys. Um, I'm sure you've learned loads of amazing stuff this week. Um, but it's important to remember that uh, Jesus has been present through all of that. And so we're going to say together now the prayer that Jesus taught us to the Our Father. So we join together as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Until I see you next time, I uh, hope you have a great weekend and a great week next week. Um, but we'll end our liturgy now together as we make the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye.